if you don't already know by now and yeah i'm just gonna try finish up my painting but i really doubt that i'll finish up today but just you know i'm gonna have a little conversation whilst i finish finish it you get me so hold on, let me just stick this right here sorry if the feedback's a bit you know a few trash i was reading a book today and really the lessons i learned from it today was know your worth you know know just know your worth and it really dawned upon me it's crazy how much sometimes we really don't know our worth it's crazy how much we take ourselves for granted you know what i'm saying sometimes we go above and beyond for other people and honestly my advice to anyone out there is really know your worth you get me sometimes you know them times where someone tells you they have plans but they ain't really invite you they're kind of like um come if you want to you know you know uh they, they didn't really include you in the plans so you're kind of like an afterthought Come on, man, know your worth. You get me? The second thing was, second thing was also action, taking action. And I mean, that's not from a book, actually. That's kind of like what my, my goal is for 2024, take action. Because we do a lot of talking as people. And honestly, tell me about it because I've done a lot of talking in my past. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. You know, I'm going to do this new painting. I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to take care of myself time i'm gonna start going gym more i'm gonna you know i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna so my thing for this year is cut out there i'm gonna you know kind of talk while when i'm doing it you know like i'm doing this i'm going gym constantly and i have been i'm eating better constantly and yeah, that's a bit sticky but i have actually been eating better you get me trying to be more healthy and stuff like that so really action like i mean that's one of my goals for 2024 you know and 2024 i'm kind of trying to start up different businesses and stuff like that so the action is really what's important because i feel like as people we're really afraid to take action because we're afraid of failure we're afraid of the outcome we're afraid of what's going to happen and i'm telling you you learn a lot more from failure than you do from success because from success you really don't learn anything and that's really one of the things i would say for today like really don't be don't be afraid to fail go out there and then take risks and prosper you get me it's a very overused quote but really take risks and prosper because without risk taking you really not gonna prosper like if you take a look at all the people who have succeeded around you or even online or anything these people were risk takers i mean unless maybe they were born rich but they took the risk they took the risk of being laughed at they took the risk of you know of doing the thing when no one thought it was cool like i see this thing and obviously a lot of people have heard about it now but it says everything is cringy till it works you know what i'm saying like what i'm doing right now i really th thought it was quite cringy i mean before i started doing it but if it starts working you're gonna see people are gonna be like yo shit oh fuck yo tell me that's my boy right there whatever whatever get me so really take risks it's 2024 man get me it's a year of action it's, it's, it's a year of doing whatever you say and one thing that you should do is try to cut out people who kind of what's the word i'm looking for who kind of talk a lot but don't do anything you get me? you know those type of friends you have and they're they're always talking a lot about you know hey let, let's let's start this 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 turn to the floor let's let's do this and then it's kind of like when you get ready they're nowhere to be found and really try to focus on doing things by yourself learn how to do things by yourself because if you try to rely on people people you know with, with people people are always going to feel you sometimes so really try to learn how to do things for yourself you get me yeah so that's also one of the things for today and i think the third thing the third thing from today would also kings and queens <sighs> know how to say no really know how to say no it's so hard to say no sometimes too nah not necessarily to anything crazy but just the little things learn how to say no to going out when you're trying to save your money 
learn how to say no to, I don't know, you're getting a KFC when you know you're on a diet. You know, you know sometimes you're on a diet and <laughs> the, little, the little KFC end up getting crazy. Learn how to say no to stuff like that. You get me? You know, you know why you're trying to achieve things. You know why you're trying to do these things that we're doing. We, we only us know the real reason why, behind why we're doing things. No one else will know. You know what I'm saying? So why are you making your goal depend on someone else? Learn how to say no to things. You get me? Cut it out. You know, that's really one of the things that I've, I'm still learning to do because sometimes saying no is quite hard for me. But it's one of the things that I think if you learn how to say no to certain things, it will be so beneficial for you in the long term because you're going to be like, shit, um, I said no to that. And I was watching this podcast earlier and he was talking about take it day by day. Okay, so let me expand on that. So he says, for example, let's say you're trying to stop smoking, right? Take it day by day. Be like, all right, cool. Um, you know, let's say you're feeling the temptation to smoke. Let's say whatever you're feeling, the little temptation to smoke. Be like, yo, just give it one more day. One more day of not smoking. Just one more day of one, one more day of grinding. Just, you know, one more day of posting the content that you wanted to post. Just one more day of, of that them extra reps, just one more extra rep, one more day of going to the gym. And the next day, nine times out of 10, you're going to be like, I'm glad I did that. I'm really glad I did that. And just that one more, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, just that one more extra thing could be what separates you from success and failure. You know what I'm saying? I'm really not one to speak at all because I'm not really too experienced in life. But this is one thing that I've realized, you know, in my 20 years of life that sometimes that one more thing can make a huge difference. You know, sometimes you're in the gym, that those one more reps, one more set, it could make a difference. You know, sometimes let's say your goal is to, I don't know, shit, um, eat better. You know, one more day of eating better could, could honestly change the whole narrative of your diet and everything. So yeah, just one more, one more. <sighs> one of the things, let me bring the mic closer so you guys can hear me. Leave what's not for you, all right? Not everything is for you. Not, not every every party is for you. Not every motive is for you. Not every, I don't know, link up is for you. You get me? Leave what isn't for you. How happier you would be if you know what is for you and what isn't for you. And I would suggest knowing yourself as a person because... The, the the key to knowing what is and isn't for you is knowing yourself. If you don't know if you don't know yourself, how are you gonna know what's for you and what isn't for you? Hmm? You feel me? So, <laughs> like I said, know what is and what isn't for you. All right. One thing I learned: save space for people who really matter. Really identify who people who matter in your life, and try to hold them close because, I mean, I think this kind of realization hits all of us once in a while but we kind of forget about it life is short it, life is really short in a matter of minutes we could really all be gone in a matter of seconds we could all be gone you feel me and the beautiful thing about life is that it happens once you get this life once maybe, like, maybe there's reincarnation i would never know but this life that we're living at the moment we only get it for once and that's the beauty of it yeah no one's thing that I learned is that it is better to lose friends than to lose yourself and this could also apply for family in some way so it's a bit controversial you get me because people are like you know everyone's different you know you shouldn't cut off people for being different which I do agree with but it's different does not necessarily mean bragging you down we've all got those people that whenever we're around we don't feel comfortable We've, always, we've all got those people that whenever we're around, we really can't be ourselves. And the thing is, we know exactly who they are. Like, I don't have to tell you who they are. You know exactly who they are. I know exactly who they are. You get me? We've got those people that we really can't be 100% around. Honestly, if you keep doing that, you're going to lose yourself. Because you're going to get to a point that you, you know, you've been around that person so much, you don't even know yourself no more. You get me? You know, um, in the Bible, it says, show me your friends and I'll show you your character. And I really do believe in that because 
the people that you really surround yourself with could really end up you, you kind of you absorb something from them you get me you take a little bit of something from them and i think that if you keep around people who are positive who are always enlightening you people who are always teaching you things people are always you know supporting you people who are really truthful to you or honest to you honestly and they allow you to be yourself you really can't lose yourself because if anything they're going to help you find yourself even more but you, if you have to lose all of your friends in order to not lose yourself brothers and sisters that's it's worth that you get me it's really worth not having any friends yeah and being lonely than having friends around you and none of them serve any sort of positive purpose to you or any sort of good thing to you it's always negative 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 i'm telling you and you'd be surprised how many how many of these people that we have around us that are walking around us and that we think oh you know it's just them it's just them that's that's just how they are that's just how they are but one thing you have to realize is the negativity starts affecting you you might not realize it now but it boils up it boils up it all adds up into one big thing you get me so honestly do not lose yourself all right do not lose yourself i know i go a bit off topic when i'm speaking but <laughs> my bad i just love speaking a lot you get me but really do not lose yourself because one of the worst things you can do because i'm i mean i remember last year around my birthday in january actually so kind of around this time somewhere i realized that i actually lost myself like i realized that i wasn't me i wasn't doing things i liked doing i wasn't around people that i like i wasn't necessarily doing the things i enjoy and i was actually working on my birthday and i remember the lady i was working with she she wanted a break and i was just sat there and i called her perfect storm because the music stopped in the workplace for some fucking reason there was no customers the lady wasn't there it was just pure silent and it was each on my birthday and i was stood there looking around and i was like oh lord like I, I, you know the inner dialogue started getting louder like well, so what are you doing like you, you you know you're 20 now like what what's going on what, what what's this what's this and then i kind of you know i kind of panicked it got a bit too much for me you get me it got, it got way too much for me but then in that moment i realized i really lost myself in the source i lost myself in trying to party i lost myself in trying to impress others i lost myself in you know taking what's not for me i lost myself in not necessarily being around the right people you get me that's what made me realize it but honestly if you don't realize before it's too late i'm glad i realized during that time because there are people who are way older than me and they still haven't realized that they're literally losing themselves but there's honestly no shame in that you get me just get better get you know it sounds a bit crazy to say just get better but you know what i mean you know exactly what you have to do to find yourself one thing that I'm going to do for my birthday is I'm going to book a ticket to Ghana. When I book a ticket to Ghana, when I go to Ghana, I'm going to get a resort for myself for like a week just within nature, you know, just to really experience being with myself. I could do that here in the UK, but I love, you know, you're in the motherland, you're in nature. There is honestly nothing better than that. So... But even now, every Sunday when I'm not working, I go on a walk where I'm just around nature. I'm surrounded by nature and I'm just journaling. I'm just kind of looking through. I'm talking to myself, you know. I'm like, yo, so what's up with you? You know, what's going on? I mean, I'm kind of reviewing myself. My, I'm reviewing my week. You know, this week, you didn't really eat that healthily. Like, what do you think happened? How do you think you can change it? And self-talk is very scary for people because... There's some things that we'd rather not talk about, like, yo, yo, like, you just kind of like to ignore it. But trust me, trust me, all of them things that you're trying to avoid is always going to come back to you, yeah? It is really all going to come back to you. But, um, yeah, I've been doing quite a lot of talking and not necessarily been hinting a lot. So let me just, you know, try to catch up to the painting by doing a couple of, yeah, a couple of, couple of lines, a couple of, you yeah. <laughs> You get me just trying to make up to the painting. Ah, yeah, just just yapping away. You get me. And 
Ooh, one thing too. Don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. You'd be, you'd be surprised by how much you can find out about yourself when you get out of your comfort zone. How much resilient you are than you actually thought when you get out of your comfort zone. How powerful as a person you are when you get out of your comfort zone. So around last last two years actually, I stopped playing rugby because I kind of realized I wasn't within the I wasn't with the right people. Per se, there were amazing people at the club. I wasn't with the right people. It wasn't the right environment for me. You get me? So I just stopped playing it in all and all. And I was like, you know what? Let me get my comfort zone for one. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my comfort zone and go play American football. Scary thing for me, but I did it. And I was really proud of myself. It kept, that momentum pushed me on to do better things. Like, for example, I started going up to like networking events because I have like a social media agency. And I started going to networking events. Oh, Lord. My first event. I know before the event, I had to go into the toilet. Just stare in the mirror for like five minutes. Talking to myself like, yo. You know, you're him. <laughs> you can do this. You know, giving myself a pep talk. You know, trying to hype myself up. And it was hard. It was really hard. But once I got out there and pushed myself. You know that thing? I kind of, I kind of was like, just, just, just do it. Just do it. You know, kind of like pushing myself into it kind of pushing myself into the deep end and nowadays i found that i get very comfortable with the uncomfortable you get me it's like if you push me into the deep end i can really adapt quicker than most i'm not saying that i'm better than other people but i'm saying i can adapt better than other people do you, you get me and i'm really really grateful for that skill but you know i hope you've enjoyed my talk today i hope you know we've all had a, a fantastic conversation and I hope you really do better for yourself in this 2024. And I hope that I do a bit more vlogs in 2024. But have an amazing week. Have an am so that's it for today. That's all the painting I've done. Obviously, I didn't do all of this today. I just painted over this again and kind of just did the grass. But that's about it. Dead. Now I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to bed. I just, I don't know, I feel like I can't sleep, so it's currently 1am, so I'm going to make myself a tea to help me sleep, you know, these night nice shifts, I've been fucking on my sleep pattern, alright, so what we're going to have today, the peppermint tea, you feel me, I would, I would honestly recommend this if you're, you know, for them times when you want to sleep and stuff, this is honestly the best option. This is the coating. So now I've got my tea here, you know. I added some honey to it. It tastes good without the honey, but adding a bit more honey or some honey makes it taste way better, so why not? But now I'm actually gonna for real drink this and go to sleep. I might watch some like family guy and stuff, but I'm still gonna go to sleep anyway though. So <sighs> have a good night, my people. Or have a good morning wherever you are. Stay blessed, alright.